Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. If you're joining us from the previous video where we ran you through the step-by-step -step process on how to remove that old chandelier, glad to have you. If you have not watched that, do yourself a favor and watch that because it's going to show you how to do it without hurting yourself or electrocuting yourself. And that's a good thing. Come right back to this video and we're going to install our brand new chandelier. Our bathroom is breaker number 14. It is now off. I've got all the parts separated and owner's manual and instructions. Very important to read this, become familiar with this before anything, and check that out. It comes with nice little gloves so you don't get any fingerprints on any of the crystals. First thing I like to do is reference the actual part list and verify you have all the parts. A couple things to point out with the new chandelier. You have your ground wire in a separate bag and then you have additional wires that are the same color and very similar to the previous chandelier wires. And the very last step that we did in the previous video when we removed the previous chandelier is we removed this mount. Now with the new chandelier it will be the first step we do. We will remount this mounting plate and secure it. And these parts should look very familiar as they are very similar to the previous chandelier and it even came with new screws and wire caps. Back up at the top and what we'll do is we will secure this mounting plate in the exact location the previous one was. The mounting plate is secured by both Phillips screws, one in the front, one on the rear. And take note of how this mounting plate is positioned in the actual hole. It is not overlapping on the drywall. It is up into and resting against the actual plastic casing inside the hole. Okay, this is a very important step and it's common to miss this during the installation. So let's get this right the first time. We're going to take both the wires, insert it through the cap as the cap will be mounted on the ceiling. I'll slide that through and these chains will also go through, as you can see there. Set that aside and then the actual bolt that the chandelier will hang from there's a hole that we have to feed the wiring all the way through. Feed it through, just like that. This bolt will be mounted into the mounting plate above, and these wires will be able to feed to the actual connection and wire caps. Took the back off the ground wire and fit it through the entire chain length. Next thing we want to do is before we actually hoist this chandelier up, and secure it to the mounting plate. We don't want it hanging from the wire, so grab the actual chain and secure it on this actual loop. And what we'll do is we'll lock it into place. Next thing I did was I fed the wires through the actual hole of the mounting plate, and I will slowly rest this bolt into the hole and screw it tight. And you want to tighten this bolt far up into the mount where you can see the bolt on the upper side of the mount. Once you get the bolt secure where it is holding the weight of the chandelier, now's a good time to check the height of the chandelier. Verify that it is the exact height you want. If it is, that's great. From here, we'll take this little nut, spin it up, and secure it to the mounting plate. Now it's back to the actual electrical wiring. Again, we have two wires that feed out of the actual bolt from the chandelier. One will go to the neutral and tighten down by a cap. The second will go to the hot wire or power lead and tighten down with a cap. And the third one, which is our ground, will actually loop around that little green screw. I've got the neutral wires connected and screwed on with the cap. And the way you do this, I'm going to use an orange cap for the power lead and insert both wires, both the power lead and the additional wire from the chandelier. And I will twist clockwise. And what happens is those wires twist together. Now it's onto the ground. And the way I want to do this, I created a loop and I'm going to loop that grounding wire around the green screw in the same way that the screw will tighten. Just like that. And from there I'll tighten it with the flathead screwdriver. Next thing I want to do is insert all these electrical wires as well as the caps back up into the actual case. Next thing we do is secure the actual cover plate onto the base. Next we'll grab the actual plastic candle covers for the lights and we will insert all of those.
Time to turn the power back on. Now let's install the lights. We chose EcoSmart LED Soft White. It is a 200 lumen, 30 cents per year, and that's based on three hours average use per day. And anytime you're grabbing light bulbs, always wear rubber gloves to alleviate fingerprints and oils getting on the actual bulb. Let's insert all four bulbs. Back to the light switch, I'll turn it on. All four lights are on and it looks great. From here, we will finish the chandelier by putting on the white glove and hanging the additional crystals. Do us a favor, below the video you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again.